This video shows how to enable or activate full text in your database, in your SQL Server database. So first one question, uh, why do we need a, a full text search in our database? Uh, when you look on some text on your uh, record sets, uh, a full text simply does uh, 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 scans all record sets of your table or database um, uh, of your table and splits all words into separate words, all text, all phrases uh, into a separate table and this is a full text table and whenever you search something uh, in a search field uh, the SQL Server only, only will give you a reference to all data sets or ID numbers where there is uh, this word, for example, here similar or something, uh, anything similar to similar written, um, all those record sets which are there. In this case, it's the record set 2700 and something else. And this is uh, useful when you have tables uh, with more than 5000 uh, record sets. So what we do now, when whenever we have a, a SQL Server and a database behind there, then you open your uh, database and then you have your tables. And when you have this one, uh, and in this case, for example, there are my um, my details are all in my my words, which I'm looking for my content words from web are here in my table. So you click on the context menu and you will find here full text index. So this means you're adding this one and says there's the unique index, which means uh, the table will be scanned and the ID of this field uh, so reference uh, as a result where it will find those words will be uh, collected in this uh, unique index. So this is the private key of this table. And then you say, okay, now my words are, all those words are collected in my field in the field, which when you open that in the keywords and text zero, there's a long text field in there uh, and I will end in a title field. That's what I had in this table. And the system should, should search all those uh, long text fields. Uh, let's see. Now here we have one. Uh, I'm looking for, let's, let's open one uh, table. Uh, now let's select 1000 lines or rows. Now this comes up and you see there's a lot of text in here and there's a lot much more HTML text in my table zeros column. And it will split all those words in there. There's the first word, second word, third word. And all it does, it makes a big, big table with uh, sim uh, single words and the reference on this ID where uh, in which record set those words are uh, um, where they exist. Now, uh, where's my dialogue? Um, now we go on there. I say, okay, it's, it should, it should up look for words and the keywords, text and title. Then we go on and we say search uh, or track for changes uh, in the background automatically. So the SQL server, uh, as soon as it's running, running in the background, it will look up for those data sets itself. You don't have to start it manually. Uh, and then you will say, okay, now this is my, uh, my database or my table, which should be in the background. It's a simple, uh, it's it's called here catalog, but it's nothing else as a table or database. So we say, okay, this is my full text, full text of, uh, let's say this table was called web details, web details and set as a default catalog. If you have, uh, if you search in, uh, other tables, you will add all those uh, tables in there. So let's say full text of code doku com, something like this. And is it case sensitive or not? Um, or ends, um, no, not, not case sensitive, but uh, if you have different uh, languages like German or uh, German and French or so. Uh, and then set it as default. And then you say, okay, now this is a a dialogue between and you finish it and then you will see now the catalog is 
created, but it's only the catalog stru structure. The filling itself will be uh, in the background. Now you will, when you uh, refresh the table, uh, the, the menu here, then you will find here in, in the storage, the full text uh, catalogs. And now that's the catalog which we created from A to Z. Uh, and we will uh, be able now to search for results in that table. Uh, I'm not sure if we can open it here. Uh, no, we can't see it. Uh, but we, for example, we can start a uh, rebuild if uh, if we want to rebuild it. That's what uh, what the dialog um, manually uh, uh, meant when we have what we have seen. But we can only all what we can do we can delete it. We can go into single uh, single record sets because that's not uh, a point of this. And in a later video, I will show you how to run a, a link query or query record set query for a search result uh, for those full text uh, database.